If you like your motorbikes, what an iconic brand, Royal Enfield. They've been making motorcycles since 1901, but today we're here on behalf of Hexagon MI to discover why they've invested in one of their products and the benefits to their business. Dave, we've learned a lot about Royal Enfield and the tech centre here, but specifically we're here for Hexagon MI. You've chosen their Roma Absolute Arm. There's lots of different products available in this category, but why did you choose the Hexagon MI products? Well, there's, there's a number of reasons we chose the product. It's, it's a great product, and obviously, you know, we're a, we're a, we're a business, it's a growing business with the, the technical centre here we're going to spend our money wisely. We, we took all the products in that were available, we trialled them, we tested them, and by the time we'd finished, we came up with the unit we've got here is the one we wanted, so we spent our money and we think we spent it wisely. The unit, for starters, has got the uh, option, it's very manoeuvrable around the head, it's got an offset pivot, which allows us to get into more locations than you can normally, uh, or with the other units available on the market. It allows us, when we're scanning uh, full-level bikes, for instance, for full-size bikes, it allows us to get into some really quite tight corners and, and, and areas. That was one of the reasons. Um, other reasons are, and specifically for me, is um, I can calibrate this unit. Right. So if, I'm, if I have any concerns, when I'm measuring something, my, one of my first instincts is always to make sure that you, that you check the, the quality or the accuracy of your measurement. The old adage is, measure twice, cut once. Same thing applies when you're, when you're measuring something. If it measures and it measures wrong, why is it wrong? Is it the measurement machine? Other units on the market at the moment, I haven't got that confidence with. I'm sure they're very good units, they're great, but my quality brain is saying to me, is this measurement right? This unit comes with its own calibration bar. It allows me to go straight to the calibration unit, check that calibration, and it removes that point from my calculations. And from a scanning point of view, I, I see that you've got uh, a probe on there as well, as well as the actual laser, I, I would imagine. Can you use both? The, the probing system is great. If we're working to CAD, we can probe up first and then we can overlay the laser on it. There's no interchange. We can change probes so we can use whatever sphere size we like. So we can go, we can go for the small diameter ball if we want to get into smaller areas. We can go for a larger one if we want to check areas like that. So the interchangeability is perfect for us. It allows us to set up. It allows us a one button start. Once it's up and running, we're done. We do one measurement and we are finished, which is which is perfect for us. It allows us to get the job done in a much more quick time frame. Now, it looks a simple product to use, but could you give us a demonstration how it really works? Absolutely, and, it is, um, and in this particular instance, what we're doing is we are, um, we're, we've got a tank here, and we need this tank, we want to do a reference sample of it. We think it is, um, well, it's been very difficult to find. Uh, we believe, everybody draws breath when I pick it up and carry it around because we think it's the last one available. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a reverse engineering job on this and get some surface details. So in this particular instance, we'll be using the, uh, the laser, but all you do literally is turn up, plug, plug it in, press the button. As soon as the button's on, we are ready to scan. And it's, this is already set up to go. Normally, you'd have the lights a little bit lower, which allows you quicker scanning. But in this instance, we'll use the lights on. Um, you simply line the point up and you scan. And how easy is it to teach other people in, in the company? In general, I wouldn't be doing this project. What I would be doing, we've changed some of the guys up in the, uh, in the office, um, some of the admin staff. So what they'll do is they'll come in and instead of me spending time scanning or effectively inspecting, we can use sort of probably about a maximum of an hour to scan something like this at one of the admin guys' time, rather than me coming in here and spending my time doing it so I can be out working with the engineers or I can be working with the supply base. But it really is as simple as this. And, and when you're, uh, for instance, scanning a full bike, you know, what benefits does the Roma Absolute Arm give you? Well, we... Um, we very much like the fact that you can leapfrog it. The leapfrogging function is, is, is really good. You pick six points on the, on the surface, you can glue on a leapfrogging kit, or you can pick uh, points on the, on the bike which you locate, and then you can move the arm and simply switch straight on to scan the rest of the bike. So in general, we can pretty much get everything we want with two setups. So you can do it really quickly, 
It's very accurate and it gives us a great surface. And you've told us sort of about a lot of the benefits, but what sort of uh, backup and service do you get from Hexagon MI? The backup and service has been first rate, really. We've, we've um, obviously, when there's a lot of information to learn on these, this is a fairly simple process, but the complex process is when you're really measuring and setting up data systems, you're going to need some backup. The helpline's been perfect. We just get on the phone, ring a number, and the guys are there with us. They mirror the screen, they look at it, they'll sort out what we need to do. And pretty much everybody in the office who uses this has used that service, and we, we've got an answer. And one final question, does it save you time? Uh, absolutely. J just the setup time alone saves us a huge amount of time. I don't believe the, 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 the warm-up times involved in other equipment are far longer. Um, the systems I've used in the past, which, which are not the Hexagon system, have taken me considerably longer. This, this unit allows me to come in here, and this one, for instance, is maximum an hour and the turn on I can probably do this turn this on and have smaller items done in 40, uh, 45 minutes half an hour very very quickly great stuff thanks very much Dave no problem Simon you head up the product development for Royal Enfield but could you tell me why you've invested in this tech center in the UK okay sure um, so at Royal Enfield we've been undergoing a phenomenal expansion for the last uh, about 10 years you know so we've really had, seen massive expansion especially in India not so much in the rest of the world and we found ourselves a few years ago the situation where first of all we had to do quite a bit of renovation we recognized we were going to have to renovate the range we also had some challenges coming up with legislation in especially in Europe and in India and we realized that we needed to expand our development capability uh, to a greater extent than we could do just in India. So we have a development team in India, which has been growing, uh, but we took the decision we needed to get in some um, additional expertise to work alongside what we had. Uh, and the UK was the obvious place. Uh, there's some obvious um, brand heritage connections there. You know, Royal Enfield started here uh, and still very much part of the brand's um, character. Uh, but also the UK is a very good you know, uh, engineering centre. There's a lot of expertise here, especially in this the Midlands area. Uh, so we knew we'd be able to get good people. We knew there were good companies around us. There's a good, um, what's the word, you know, infrastructure around you. So yeah, we started here um, uh, two and a half years ago. Maybe there's a perception in the marketplace that you dominate within the Indian market. However, I'm sure you're looking to sell bikes worldwide. But does this tech centre give you the opportunity and provide that? Yeah, certainly. I mean, so far, most of our success has been India. Although we do have uh, a foothold all around the world. You know, we sell a, a few hundred bikes here and... You know, and and a thousand in France and in you know, Brazil. We're just opening up in Colombia and in Indonesia, in North America. You know, all around the world. Uh, but we're, most of our success is in India, certainly. Uh, and part of, as I mentioned, this ne perceived need to um, refresh the range is that we recognise that for the developed markets where, you know, um, the road conditions are a bit different from India, our bikes have a they have a niche here in the UK, to take an example. But uh, we need to move things on a bit to expand our appeal. So really exciting times for Royal Enfield. Oh yeah, yeah, there's, yeah, there's a lot happening. I mean, we're phenomenally busy. We've been growing enormously. Uh, five years ago, our development team in India was about 50 people. Now it's three times that. Um, three years ago, we didn't have a development team in the UK. Now we've got 100 people here and that's still growing. So, you know, we've, and that's a, a reflection of the amount of work that's going on. Great, thanks very much, Simon. Okay, my pleasure.